Right. Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Zeno with Justice Zeno for 15 minute fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and, and your, your future. future. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, today is Mother's Day. Yes. And also uh, do your intro to the Justice League. That actually looks really good. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Justice Zeno, and I do this thing called the Justice League. Hope you guys are on it right now. And if you've not, and you know people, and uh, tell them definitely and check out our um, Facebook pages and all of that. Look louder. I know. All right, cool. All right, so uh, today on 15 Minute Fuel, we're going to talk about is, um, well, it's Mother's Day, so say happy Mother's Day to Mommy. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. And all the moms out there. Yes. And happy days to my mom, Elaine. She'll probably be on soon. And Whitney for being the mommy of my boys. Yeah. All right, so what I want to talk about today is making a decision. When you make a decision and then you go, you put massive action into it. So um, I'll set the tone for this and you tell me how you got there. So last week, Justice, uh, well, Friday, yeah, Friday, you had a talent show at school. All right, so when did you find out you had the talent show? I, I didn't really uh, notice until... Um, Wednesday until so, Wednesday. So Wednesday. So so he he finds out there's a talent show at school Wednesday, and then he's like, yeah, I'll do it. And then he learned a piano song. And no, I didn't. I didn't learn it. I already knew it. I just picked it up from one. I'm like, I'll use this one. Yeah. Then did it. Practice it. Then so, did it. Yeah, like two, like a day and a half of practice it and did, did it. It didn't really need anything, but then. Well, it was just the whole thing because as an adult, and I think this is what I want. This is really the thing I want to get across to everybody is. As kids, that would be a thing where it's like, oh, it's Friday, okay, I'll pick up the song and we'll do it. Like, I don't want to say no fear, but there was no, you know, he he just wasn't scared of it. So I think as adults, what happens, if we had two days to prepare ourselves, like if you told me how to talk in two days, then I would think of all the reasons why I wasn't ready, I wasn't prepared, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And because I, I was scared of not being perfect. But then, But then here's one more thing. So whenever you get in that position, just then think. Once you freak out, then calm down and think. If this is like your talk, that's like um, what's let's say it's your talk for your competition, competition, and you've already done it, right? If you've already done one, and then you only have two days notice, you have to reset your mind and calm down and say. I have already done this. I have nothing to like worry about. Like you, like I've already done a recital and played in front of a lot of people. So it's like you don't really need to be scared of something that you think you haven't done, but you've done. You just get freaked out whenever um, you you have like little time notice, but then you have to think like, oh, um, let's see here. I've already done a talk or a recital and this shouldn't be hard and 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 also um if you're like um passionate about something and you practice it and then um you and it's like you have to find a topic you're like oh no two days notice and you, then you just find one off the ground you know, like something you've already done for like or something you've already learned and you just say here i'm going to talk about this you pick it up then you talk it then you talk about it or the same for a piano song like <clears throat> I've I've known Beethoven's fifth for a very um long time. So I just had to pick it off pick it off the ground and do yeah. it. <laughs> so I mean that's a really good point, like what you're saying. So so you're actually what I like about it, so we're going to this you even though we don't look into the past, but you uh, um leverage past wins for your future. Um meaning that this like well, I already played the piano before. I already did a talk before. I did. I was in situations where I had to like learn something quick and do it. So because of your previous experience of winning, so when you have a something comes ahead, you're like, yeah. oh, I did this before. So I've been here before. Yeah, but but if it's first time try, don't don't get, don't um, don't think oh this, it, I don't have to be nervous about it. It's fine. It's it's fine to be a a like nervous on your first one because that's your first one out of maybe like a hundred recitals or talks that you're gonna do in life. Um, so, and then even that, just don't be n nervous because then 
if you're like talking in front of a lot of people, you've practiced talking. You, you've practiced giving a speech. So you just take that and you just share it to other people and you spread the speech to other people that you made up that you want to speech and preach to people. Yeah, I agree. So tell me about your mindset on that. So here you have this uh, thing coming up in two days and you say, yeah, I'll do it. I'll just pick up the song, which you haven't played in a long time. And then, but then is, and I don't want to say anything because I don't want to discourage. And well, I don't want to discourage from my uh, uh, lens filter. So my, what I mean by filter is, man, if I had two days, I don't think if I could do it, you know, so I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to press upon yeah. you my limited beliefs. That's why I just say, Hey man, it's awesome. But the fact is like, you didn't have the limited beliefs. You picked up the song, so to speak, which wasn't just picking up a little song. And it was, and it was, and it was a, and it was like, it was a hard decision for me to pick a song because I love all the songs that I've learned and that I, so all the songs I'm really good at and I learned, I love like a lot. And it was, it was a hard choice, but then I was like Beethoven's fifth because um, it just has like, it has a lot of speed and a lot of timing and what I liked about it. And I was like Beethoven's fifth, then practice it for two days, refreshed it and got it. Um, memorized. Mem well, it was already memorized. Um, just refreshed it and then did it. With, without music, without any piece of yeah, music. It's memorized. And I mean, that, that's the, the thing. Like, the reason why I'm smiling is because, you know, when you talk, it just, uh, you just don't have, you're talking without limited belief systems. And that's what I love about it. It's like, that's what we're all capable of. That's where the whole hero thing comes from. It's like, you know, we were just like Justice or any of our kids, but we forgot. We yeah, forgot, yeah. so you don't realize, even though we think, oh, I have cleared my negative belief system, it's like, until your son pulls something off like this, you're like, wow, I still got a lot of yeah. and, beliefs. And even, and even still, like, I get nervous and I freak out if I have two days notice, but then if it's something that I'm good at, if it's, well, if it's something that you're bad at, well, you obviously need a lot of practice for it, but if it's something you're good at, it's like, you don't, you really don't. Um, need to be worried because it's something that you've already done in life and it's something yeah. that you've already learned in life and something that you love in life and another thing too you you have to love it to do your best so like let's say if you didn't love to um, speak and you wanted to be an artist like you would you would not be as good as um, speaking as you are as an artist because you love to paint but you don't like to speak but you speak and you're not as good at speaking as you are at painting no absolutely so you Friday so you, you go to the place Friday um, you had the how how to go so you went there Friday I was in Tennessee you know um, that, so it was in it was in um, yeah it was Friday performers got there we we rehearsed um, five 5:45 sharp. We rehearsed, and um, then at 6 6:30 sharp, we um, we did we did we started with the recital. And piano was the first one, and sadly I was like at the bottom. I'm <laughs> like, oh no, because I, I wanted to go first. Um, so why do you want to go first? Because I was I was really excited to do it. I was really excited to do it, and I and I wanted to do it. I'm like, I want to go first, and a lot of my friends that didn't want to, that were like nervous and um, didn't want to do it. And then they, um, th then they were like way ahead of me like, oh my God, you guys are lucky because I, I wanted to go first and I was excited to do it. Yeah, how many times like in life, like when it's something to do, we don't, we don't want to be the first ones up. Like I just want to ask someone who wants to go first and no one raised their hand. That's just kind of so, because I think we're insecure of doing that. You know, I did that too, bud. You know, on Wednesday, I picked to go first. Because I just day? want to get over with Wednesday when I do that speak off. Oh, speak. oh yeah. yeah. So how did, did you win? That'll be Thursday night. So Wednesday I do the speak off, and then Thursday night is the finals. So you're you're going to uh, Colorado? Okay. Yeah, Colorado Springs. We're going. Yeah, yeah. We. So yeah, you're gonna be there. Yeah. So so. Hey, I'm gonna wear that same red shirt that you wore. Which one? Dude, your recital shirt. I'm gonna wear. Oh yeah, here. that one. Oh yeah. So you could support me by wearing the same thing if you want. Yeah, definitely. Uh, 
yeah, so I, I just, I was just so impressed. I don't, I'm, you know, I just love bragging on Justice, but it's not bragging on Justice because he's my son. It's like I'm bragging on him because at 10, you don't let the age interfere with, with wisdom. You follow what I'm saying? So at 40, I'm not going to say, well, you're 10 and because you're chronic logical age, I'm not going to learn something of wisdom for you. And you really shown me, you know, my faulty belief systems that are still, you know, messing with my head. So just to see you just be like, hey, I got it. I'm making a decision. I'm going to go. I'm going to brush up on this thing. Memorize. Like, you uh, you went in with a really good attitude. You weren't uh, you weren't complaining about. It. You went in and you did great. Yeah. So what was the it, feedback? Um. Fe the feedback was um was really like feeling good about it uh, that that I did it because I was I was like letting it go by and I and I noticed I I I saw the flyers and I saw everything on um on. Oh yeah, I saw it on Monday. You know, because there's a lot of big things happening um, on the fifth week. I mean, on the fifth cycle, um, and so we we did that. I'm like, oh, you know, I, it's the last cycle, so I'm gonna do it. And um, I went through it. Then um, I felt I felt really good because I was like, I want to do it, and I did it. I completed it, and um, and I I was thinking like. Um, even even if I feel I picked up where I left off and I keep on going, um, yeah. And some people like quit. It was, was kind of yeah. weird. Well, that's the thing. That's why I tell you guys: if you go to uh, IamHero.com and you, there's, it's it's for free. It's my my one month to win. It's it's for this very reason. It's that you know he. You know, he got you got used to winning. You know, so when you win once, try, and winning doesn't mean that you do a contest and you get first. Winning could be I actually completed the goal of actually doing a contest. Like it's the the first place doesn't mean necessarily mean the win. It mean that you you completed the circle. I like how he said you completed the cycle, and so those little wins along the way. So even at ten, those little bit of wins, like when I say how'd you you know on your recital, your black belt, or this, how'd it make you feel? And you always say, good. Felt so, he right. loves the way that right. feels. And it's not that I won, it's that yeah. I set a goal, I went for the goal, I completed the goal of actually doing it and accomplishing it, and that was the gratification you got from that, correct? Yeah, and, and the hardest one was the black belt. That was the Sure, hardest. yeah, well you worked hard for that. Yeah, that was, it, was, it was breathtaking to do that. Yeah, I know, you did great. Well, but how do you feel? Good, I feel good that I have the black yeah. one now. So all these wins compound over time, and I think that, uh, because if you just read theories in a book, that's one thing, so you could get it up here, but I think to get it as part of your person and your that's true mindset, you have to go through the experience of it, right? So, right, right, every time we read things, we're like, oh yeah, that's right, but we still don't feel that way, or we don't act that way, because it hasn't been experienced. So that's why those little wins along the way, so that IamHero.com, you go to that, you just put your email in there and you'll get a free one month program. It's 20 videos, you do five a week with exercises and an ebook. It's all there for you. And in one month, you'll actually get in the habit of winning because winning's a habit. It's not a one act. Like, yeah, you know, if, cause if you are, if you are with you continually do in life, then winning's not an act. It's something you do on a daily basis. And for me, I, you know, you're watching this, it's a win. You know, you wake up tomorrow and do something for yourself, it's a win. So. When you start to see the things that you do for yourself and complete that cycle or that circle, it's a win. Then you get they feel it feels really good, and then you love the feedback, so you want to win more in life. And again, it's not meaning that you get a first place trophy; it's just making those right decisions for yourself. So I appreciate, it, man. I know everybody loved it, right? Yeah, it was really good. So what's your next? Uh, what's what's the next thing we're working on with you? Well, what do you mean? What's your next goal? Vegas. Vegas. That's in June, right, or July? July. July, so I have about two and a half months to um, practice, and I've already been um, uh, working on my uh, bow form and all that, and I'm editing, editing, editing it to make it look really good, and, um, really difficult to do, um, uh, body-wise, not like trick-wise, but body-wise, like to like fit. Um, you have to you have to do stuff with your body, like a lot of body stuff. You do with it. instead of like just tossing it up, catching it, and all that. Being you know, like kicks, like a lot of nice. mirage of kicks, like bang, 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 bang. Yeah, well, I'm excited, uh, and we'll all see it because you'll be. We'll probably do it live, and we'll definitely get it with Timmy D and the crew. 
and uh, we are heroes. So thank you so much, guys, for watching 15 Minute Fuel, where you make a decision and you go. And, uh, and just don't think about it. And I love that, that, hey, um, I won in the past. Like, it was almost like David and Goliath he talked about today. So when David fought Goliath, he said, well, even though Goliath was a new problem, a new situation, but a lot of us say, well, it's a new situation, and I get scared. But he, he, you don't have to go through the same situation to say you could do it. So he says, well, that's Goliath. Okay, so it represents a problem that he has to overcome. And he says, well, you know, I farmed for decades. I beat, you know, I killed a bear. I killed a lion. Like, you know, he had so many wins in the past. He says, well, I've been in this situation before. It might have looked different, but that doesn't mean I still didn't get through it. So that fact is I appreciate you having a David mindset. So, in the Goliaths like, of your um, life. I've, I've won before, so what's the difference of winning again? Yeah, and I'm it, telling you, that's where that like, winning confidence it's not, comes it's from. Not like, it's not like any other thing. It's, it's, it's not when someone tells you like, oh, well, um, well, I won a lot of first places in um, tennis, and I'm going into new sports, soccer, and I don't know if I'm gonna win. It's not about like going into a different sport because how did you get get um, good at tennis? You practiced, um, but like winning, it's like, and and also you don't want to talk back, like bad about yourself. Like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna win this you, because that actually tells your mind and brain like, oh, he's not gonna win this. He's not gonna win this. Yeah. Whether you think it's true or not, it becomes true. Well, thank you so much for watching. You are there to watch the Justice League in 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and, and your future. future. Ha um, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, and all the moms out there. That's yeah. right. And Grandma. So we'll see you guys soon with 15 Minute Fuel. See you tomorrow. See ya.